What is going on fam? Welcome back to a new video. My name is Kayla, also known as Kayla Fit. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back, shoddy. Let's get into it. New video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you like, make sure you're subscribed, turn that notification bell on. But today's video, we're gonna go over a lot of different things. We've got an Alpha League launch coming up tomorrow. If you're watching this on the day it dropped, um, my blood work, I got blood work done. You guys are asking questions about it. Why do I get blood work done? What am I looking for? What panels? We're gonna go over that as well. And I'm going to show you guys a back workout. So we got a lot going on. For that, let's go over some of the items that are gonna be dropping uh, this Saturday on January 14th of the new year. Let's see what we're looking at. Tons of stuff this launch, mostly accessories, but also three stocks of some of your guys' favorite Amplify. We got the Women's Revival bra. Some of my freaking faves. Amplify bra in digital violet. This color is so gorgeous. I'm gonna try all this stuff on, so don't even worry. Don't even be worried for a second. This is so beautiful. Want to go somewhere special. This is all sports bras. I only got two pairs of leggings because I already have almost all the other colors of leggings, but I'm gonna show you guys what will be dropping. And I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff on the screen that's gonna be dropping, but I'm gonna put on some of the colors to show you too. I'm just that girl, I'm nice for you guys. Only for you. Dad hats. Wow, wow. I love the way that these fit and look. The only thing I don't like, full transparency, is the back. Like, why is there an Eiffel Tower on there? I don't like that. What is that? What is that? Now, some of my favorite is socks. You guys know I love socks. Give me all of the socks. All of them. Give me them all. Simple, but sleek. Slay, slay, slay. In black. Simple. We love it. Between the length of like a crew and a high, which is kind of cool. It's like a mid angle. I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible for you guys to give you guys the deets and then move on with this vlog. This is digital violet. Gorgeous. Also, these socks, this is exactly how I would pull my socks up typically and then fold them is to this length. If there's anything you buy this launch besides race socks, it's the socks. Get the socks. Throw everything out, get the socks. Same fit as all previous Amplify, just a restock. That's it, that's all. And then we have the Amplify bra. That's what it looks like with the pads in. Nice little scrunch, just like this scrunch. Little cross, super supportive, I would say. And then if you take the pads out, personally, I'm not a fan of these. Wow, wow. This is my favorite color. Absolute favorite color, necessity. Now let's go through all the other colors quick. Before I change bottoms, this color combo, Misty Lilac with Digital Violet. Whoa, whoa. Revival bra, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's the most comfortable. It doesn't bother my neck at all. On the white, the bra pads are pretty obvious, but again, you can take them out, you don't need them. That sums up all the Alphalete stuff. If you guys have more questions, just drop it down below. Per usual, shoot me a DM on Instagram, wherever. Super small drop, just to restock on some of your guys' favorite colors. Uh, fit, everything is pretty much the exact same, but newer fits will be coming into 2023, which is super exciting. How's that? I'm about to eat a meal. I'll show you guys what it is. What do you know? It's the typical beef, rice, and one egg. From the previous video, I eat that probably about one to two times a day, every single day. If you haven't seen the previous video, it is a full day of eating. Check it out, you guys love those. And just going over my macros, um, my calories, where they're currently at, et cetera, which I'll kind of dive a little bit deeper into as well at the end of this video once we talk about blood work, why I'm doing blood work and all of that. My new thing that I've been doing is anytime I'm eating, I'm sitting at the counter like a human should. I'm not sitting on my couch anymore and eating, none of that. I'm separating everything away from it. I'm not sitting at my computer and eating anymore unless I have to for a call. This is something that's just helping me separate work from food from chill, which has actually helped me a lot in staying very productive. So there's a quick tip um, on staying productive into this year. Separate your work from your chill, from your eating, whatever, especially if you work at home, you gotta keep things separate to keep your brain in the right path whenever you're in certain areas, like the bed, the bed should be for sleeping and other things, but you know what I mean by that. I don't have any, 
I ran out of Rice Krispie treats, so this is gonna be our carb source today because for four of these, it's 26 carbs. I really don't wanna eat four. Not because they're not good, like I literally love these so much, but I haven't really had candy in like five days and I feel like this might trigger me. It's not gonna trigger me because I'm in control. Oh my God, I do good. I'm like not even chewing, I'm just like swallowing it. By the way, if you guys are wondering what sunglasses these are, they're Boulevard, Seuss Bras Company. Kalo saves you, will save you like 15% if you wanted to snag any. I don't know if any are in stock, but. That's just two. That's just two of these. I don't think they're good. We might eat two later. I can't do it. My stomach doesn't want it. Doesn't want it. Check, 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 check one. Check mother two. What up, shoddy? Welcome to my back day. Hey, it's me, Kayla. Kalo Fit. Hey. <laughs> If I, you guys have been requesting a back day and I apologize like it just my recording days have not landed on my back days I apologize, but warming up here with some latte pole downies. I always have to rotate my back like that I don't know what it is first first set always have to do it And then I like to warm up with doing a lap pull down and then doing a little bit of a pull over This is a pull over. I've been doing pullovers for like my entire life since I came from out the womb I was doing pullovers to get out of the womb <laughs> I'm so sorry, but love pullovers. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, just combo them between them. Like I just do one to two sets of going back and forth. Then when I'm ready, which I'm ready right here, going into a heavier set. I actually went higher than this. I think this is only 100 pounds. I was like, <laughs> shawty, I felt good. I felt real good. So I went up to 120. Didn't record that, but um, but you can believe me. I did it. I swear. Feeling really, really good. Feeling powerful feeling energized been pushing myself to failure i actually just took two days off because of my last leg day and then this back workout i was g g gassed so you know you gotta listen to your body so that was great and then here i am taking you're gonna see i take three phone calls during this workout that is just the life that i live i guess like 2023 is business kalo so you know i have to answer these calls i gotta focus on business so it is what it is but I love doing barbell rows so, so much. Um, once I've done talking and having this conversation here, I actually start talking while I'm freaking lifting, which is probably not good, but I really like doing these. And when I'm doing this, watch how I am slow and controlling it. Like I probably could have gone up and heavier, but I would have been forcing the weight. Look at how smooth that motion is. Look at that control on the way down. I should be holding a little bit longer at the top. If I was using a Smith machine, it would be easier to hold at the top. So if you're not comfortable with this movement, it puts a lot of pressure on your back. One, squeeze your glutes and two, use a Smith machine. Use a Smith, Smith machine that has an angled, whatever. It's gonna help you a ton. Um, I promise you that. I, look at me. Look, I'm like not, like my head should be forward. I shouldn't even be talking, but you know, at least you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And um, that is, that's just where we're at. I just got these new handles in literally right now and I'm gonna use it. Fuck, I forgot how to hold it. It's actually really a little complex. Hold it like that. Sheesh. Cool, Kalo, really cool. Thanks for showing us. <laughs> no, they actually really got these new handles in like right when i was about to do this movement like the girl to the right was literally put them there and i was like "Ooh, let me see it very fancy i was using them wrong though you'll see in a second how i was using them wrong i was just like forcing it but when we're doing this movement drive that elbow back make sure you are driving that elbow back make sure you're rotating a little bit but drive with your elbow it's a little weird but it actually it feels comfortable i think you have to use one for the right and one for the left but I'm just using one for both, so it's a user error. Here's a look at the other side of it. So uh, I just used the bench to basically hold myself in place. I could not get comfortable because my hoodie was bent up weird, but put a pad on the ground, put your sweatshirt on the ground, something, and see how I'm leaning a little bit and I'm squeezing. You're, you should feel a fire in that lat. Like I love doing these. Here I am on another call. I just accepted someone into the Zoom call. <laughs> no big deal, but driving that elbow back as much as I possibly can. It, there is two different ones. It has a left and a right. Okay. My bad dog. Now when it comes to biceps, I've been loving actually doing this 
machine more than anything and I've been pushing myself again till failure. Typically when I was training as of 2022, 2023 Kalo is a little bit different, but in 2022 I was always using dumbbells. I was doing the same fucking movement freaking every single time. This time I started doing a little bit more machine focused and I'm squeezing and I'm controlling way more. I would always just use like an excuse of, you know, I'm tired because I already did a full back workout, but this time around, no, we want big old biceps, okay? I don't know what happened to the lighting here. It got really, really weird because the guy in the background walked by and then it completely just freaked up my settings, but no worries at all. Um, did a little bit of a superset with these. And then here's a little posing action. I'm feeling good, pushing food. I'll update you guys in the next video what my new macros are because I did get a food bump, yay. Hunger is through the roof, which is really, really good. And yeah, I look like, look at that. I see obliques right now and I'm pushing more food. It's just because I'm honestly staying on track. Look at that croissant. Do you see that? Sheesh. -er. Like, I, sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Back from the workout. It was actually pretty decent. It was decent. You guys can't see me. Nice. Like I said, I've just been pushing myself so hard lately that after my workouts, I am so drained and I, I am beyond drained. I had took three freaking phone calls during my workout, which is okay because there's just a lot of business stuff's going on right now, which is good because I'm happy and excited for the future and a lot of stuff is happening. I am like my bar of energy. Completely gone. So I might do some work tonight. I might just relax. I have therapy here. 10 minutes, which to update you guys on therapy while I eat this strawberry rice crispy treat. Never saw it. Strawberry milkshake. I'm pretty good. I'm sorry. I'm a really bad chewer. Comment down below if you are too. Yeah, therapy has been good. Can't complain. I feel like I got to a good place with my therapist. So it's been more casual conversations lately and just talking about my week and maybe some things I'm struggling with, some things that I'm doing better at, etc. But overall, it's still going good. And this is what, like two, three months into therapy now and I'm loving it. I'm journaling again. I'm reading. Who is she? What is going on guys? It is a few days later and I wanted to just discuss really quickly why I'm getting blood work, what panels I'm ordering and kind of show you guys a little bit about it. I'm gonna have Dan talk about it. He's the expert. He is my coach. He's also my co-business owner as well with Authentic. He's gonna be able to give you guys a little bit more details than I will. Once my blood work comes in, in a future video, probably next week, we'll go through my blood work together and explain to you guys if there's anything down, going wrong, et cetera. So let's take it over to Dan. Okay, so um, pretty much all the blood work that we kind of do, at least like what I recommend for most of my athletes, and we tend to like try to get people to do it privately, you know, through, you know, something like a life extension through LabCorp or something, if they can't do it through their primary care physician, which is totally fine. And at the end of the day, these are kind of like the main panels. I tend to try to recommend for most average individuals, obviously like each person to person is going to be very individual based context. So depending on what the situation is, depending on what the environment is, depending on what I'm trying to figure out what's going on, it might change drastically. But for everybody, for the most part, these will kind of give you a very good idea in terms of what you're looking for, for like a weight loss or a muscle building context or, or some, it's just the basic components for the most part. Now, granted, it's a lot of tests. So for me, it's kind of basic, but for some people it might be like extravagant. These are kind of the main panels I have people pull. You can find these all in Life Extension. This is kind of where I have most people go. Kind of going through the list here and Kayla will probably just kind of put this on the screen. The first one on the list is just like DHEAS, which is kind of the active hormone of DHEA, which is kind of produced from the adrenal glands. I like to pull that one as well as cortisol to kind of see what the adrenal glands are kind of doing, um, see how much hormones are kind of pumping out is it too much stress kind of going on things like that um, how much overall active testosterone is kind of being produced as well especially for females a little bit different than for males free and total testosterone that's another one too um obviously you have the free what's readily available total testosterone what's being binded up you know with the globulins the protein binding globulins sorry um, and then you also have estradiol which is one form of estrogen you've got two other forms really that's the most important one for most females especially for males too and the one that's probably the most common through most of their life outside of pregnancy and menopause so the other two you don't really have to worry about and that one really is just going to tell you you know how much estrogen you overall have you know how much you know fat loss context there might be muscle building context you know there's a lot of different things kind of go into that um, don't want to get too far into that. Progesterone as well. Obviously, that's kind of the one more neurological calming hormone that does regulate a lot of that cycle, you know, health month to month, PMS sort of symptoms as well. And obviously, that's kind of antagonist or opposite of cortisol, which is a stress hormone. So again, very important to kind of see both thyroid hormones as well. So we'll look at TSH, we'll look at free T3, free T4, reverse T3. So we're looking at the stimulating hormone from the pituitary. We're looking at the active T3 hormone itself, the one that's actually doing all the work. We're looking at the inactive form, the T4, the one that gets converted. And then we're also looking at the reverse T3, which is sort of like the last phase stage hormone of, of active form so your body's under a lot of stress you, know, you can usually see if reverse t3 is very high 
it's kind of something that needs to be troubleshooting, whether it's a stress component, whether it's a malnourishment component, something along the lines of that. I and mean, then we'll pull like insulin level markers as well. So we'll look at, you know, fasting insulin. Sometimes people like to pull C-peptide. Both are pretty good, just depending on the context of what you're trying to do it for. Hemoglobin A1C, that's another good marker to kind of see like an average blood sugar ratio for the last 90 days. And then you also look at ferritin, which is a little bit more for like iron storage capacity. So we'll look at total iron binding capacity. We'll look at iron saturation. We'll look at iron serum levels to kind of see not only how much iron is in the blood, but what the body's actually doing with the iron itself. That's another big one too, and how it's kind of storing it away. We'll also take a look at just the basic CMP, so your kidneys, your liver, your electrolyte balance. Take a look at CBC as well, so any type of complete blood count. So when it comes to your red blood cells, white blood cells, how much volume is in the cells, how much you know different white blood cells are active in different parts of your body. When it comes to your immune system, that's another important thing to look at. Vitamin D levels as well, that's kind of a more basic one out of probably like 99% of blood work I pull. <laughs> Most people are vitamin D deficient. One, we're not getting enough sunlight, or two, they're not just supplementing with enough. Usually just depends, and again, that's really gonna regulate a lot of my calcium absorption, hormone production, uh, the list just goes on and on. Obviously that's a whole nother story you know, in and of itself for another time. C-reactive protein, that's another big one I usually like to look at just to take a look at inflammation markers. So if there's something kind of going on, the body's very stressed out, sometimes it will kind of lead into inflammation in the heart and the arteries and that'll kind of give you a good idea in terms of what's going on in a general sort of context. Okay, and then another one I usually have people pull is like sex hormone binding globulin, which is just a binding protein that binds all the hormones, kind of tells you like how much is actually being transported in different parts of the body, how much is freely available to use. That's another one you usually get people to do. I had her get done as well. And then we also have her doing B12 and folate to see how much is readily available in the bloodstream. It's not really a good indicative, you know, a panel of like exactly how much the body's actually utilizing metabolizing, but it kind of gives you an idea. Usually like serum panels is just what you're seeing in the blood, right? If you want to look into something more intensive, you're going to look at like a Dutch test to kind of see the metabolites of all these hormones and things like that. Um, totally different scenario. The, the basic weight loss panel, which you can find, which has most of the panels, I think it's like 200 bucks, you know, on life extensions. That's one of the biggest ones we always use people to pull and then we might do something like the total iron binding capacity you might like a b12 folate sex hormone binding globulin and those are really the main ones that i had her do um for right this time being i usually like to pull maybe like an fsh or an lh to kind of add it in there to kind of see those signaling pathways from the pituitary gland for like production of estrogen progesterone as well it just really depends on the scenario so but yeah those are the main ones um and we're just whenever we get the blood work back take a look at it together go through it see what's kind of going on and figure out kind of what the best best plan of action is to kind of troubleshoot it if there are any underlying issues kind of going on in the first place science <laughs>